Good morning, everyone. Here we are. Guess what? It's our fifth week of virtual preschool. I can't believe it. This fall is just flying by. All right, so let's do our days of the week and calendar. Do you all remember what day of the week we had last school day? It was a couple days ago because we had a weekend in between. Does anyone remember what it was called? Yeah, it was called Friday. So then, like I said, we had the weekend. So Saturday, Sunday, and now we are all the way back to Monday again. So we'll move that frog up there to Monday. And we'll come over here and look at our calendar. The month, does anyone remember what our new month, it's actually not so new anymore. We've had this month for a week, about a week and a half now. Does anyone remember our month name? Yeah, it's October. And we're still seeing those trick-or-treaters up there because we know Halloween is coming up shortly at the end of the month. All right, so let's see here. Let's count the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. Oops. Well, who can tell me what the picture is going to be? Let's see, we have apple, pumpkin, apple, pumpkin. What comes next? Yes, an apple. So we're gonna have a number 10 on an apple. All right, so that was Saturday. We need to do a couple more days. So eight, nine, 10. What comes next? Yep, if you said 11, you are right. And we have pumpkin apple pumpkin apple what's next yeah a pumpkin so let's have a number 11 on a pumpkin and that was sunday so we need to do one more day to get to monday eight nine ten eleven what comes next 12 right so we have pumpkin apple pumpkin apple pumpkin. Yep, an apple. So we're going to have number 12 on an apple and that is today. So if you want to say this with me, today is Monday, October 12th. And remember, we are still in the season of, anyone remember what it's called? Fall. That's right. Here we are over in the fall. And the other word for fall, remember, is autumn. So we've got the arrow pointing into October. We're going to move it over a little farther. But all these yellow parts are fall. All right, last week we talked a lot about fall, didn't we? About all the different fall changes. Well, this week, oh, I almost forgot the weather before we go on to this week. We need to look out the window, and I want you to do that too. I want you to look out the window and see what the weather is today. So let's see, at your house, is it cloudy? Is it foggy? I certainly hope it's not snowing yet. <laughs> is it windy? Is it partly cloudy? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Or is it stormy? You got it. You all can figure that out. Figure out what kind of weather you have at your house. And then we need to figure out kind of what it feels like outside. So do we have a warm day? Do we have a hot day? Do we have a cold day? Or do we have a cool day? Well, I will let you all decide that too. You might have to go outside and feel for yourself to see what it's like out. All right. So on to what we're talking about this week. This week, we're going to talk about apples. Remember, apples are one of our pictures on our calendar this month because apples are a fruit that often gets picked during the fall. So this week we're gonna talk all about apples. And 
I have, of course, a book about apples for you. And we're going to pull it out. Are you ready to watch in the mystery fold or the mystery envelope? Here it comes. Oh, I see two birds and a bird's nest. It looks like it's up in a tree. I see an apple and leaves and a butterfly. So this book is called The Apple Pie Tree. Now, wait a minute. I did not know pies grew on trees. Did you know that? Did you know apple pies grow on trees? Uh, that's what it says. It says the apple pie tree. Something's not right about this. We better read the book and find out. Let's see. Do apple pies really grow on trees? Hmm. Let's find out. My sister and I have a tree that grows the best part of apple pie. Oh, wait a minute. It only grows part of the apple pie. And it says, can you guess what that is? What would be the most important part of apple pie? Oh, apples. And every year we watch our apple tree grow. In winter, our apple tree is brown and bare. There's that word again, bare, meaning there is nothing on it. So that is an apple tree, but there's nothing on it because it's winter. But in spring, leaves grow on every branch. Whoop, two robins are building a nest in our tree. Oh. Those must be the robins from the front of the book, too, from the front cover. So make sure you're, tr you're really trying to remember what is happening with this apple tree in this book, because we're going to be doing an activity with that later. Tiny pink flower buds appear on the branches. The robins chirp loudly, guarding their eggs. So there's the little pink flowers, and there are the robin eggs up in the nest in the tree. So it's spring, it sounds like. Just when the flower buds open, baby robins break through the eggshells. So there's those baby robins, and the flower buds have opened up. Now our tree is covered with blossoms and the baby robins begin to grow feathers. Oh, look at them, they're so cute. And if you see all the blossoms on the tree, you also see that there are bees in the tree. And the bees are doing their job of pollinating. When breezes blow, the petals fall to the ground. Mama and Papa Robin teach their little robin birds to fly. So this is kind of like, it kind of reminds me of fall with the leaves falling off the trees, except for that I believe it's spring in this picture. So we have flower or apple blossoms falling to the ground. And there are the baby robins learning to fly. Some days it rains and the wind blows hard. But our apple tree is strong, and the robins are safe in the branches. There they are. They're staying safe underneath the leaves and the branches of the tree. Small green apples grow where the blossoms used to be. So the spaces where the, the little flowers were, that are gone now, that is where the apples begin to grow. Soon it is summer. The apples get bigger and bigger. You can see them up there. They're still pretty small though. The little robins have grown up, but they visit every day. So there are the robins. They were babies, now they're grown up, but they're still visiting their nest. The branches bend down low. They are covered with big, round apples. And who's trying to eat those apples? 
from here are trying to eat those apples. Now it is autumn. The apples are red and ready to be picked. We fill our basket to the brim. When it says to fill the basket to the brim, it means all the way to the top. So there we see somebody picking an apple to put in the basket. So they're filling the baskets all the way to the top. Mom and Dad help us peel the apples, cut them up, and pile them into a pie shell. Then we sprinkle cinnamon and sugar over the top. Mom puts the pan in the oven. Ooh. Their house is going to smell really good soon. At last, the pie is cooked and ready to be eaten. Our tree has grown an apple pie. It smells so good. Now wait a minute, did the tree grow the whole apple pie? No. The tree grew the most important part though, which was the apples, right? And it tastes delicious. There's nothing as good as an apple pie you grew yourself. packet this week. It, it's not a recipe for apple pie, but you're, you're uh, of course, uh, welcome to make an apple pie if you would like, but I included a recipe for something called apple crisp, and that is something that we have often made at preschool when we've had, when we've been able to have access to an oven or something. We've made apple crisp at preschool, so I included a recipe for that in your packet this week, and if you bake apple crisp, it's very similar to making an apple pie. It's just a little easier. So I think that would be a fun thing for you to do with your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or whoever. All right, so I have a couple of activities to show to you today. The first one is a story about how an apple grows. Remember I said when we were reading the book that, um, uh oh, did I forget scissors? I did, I forgot. Oh no, I didn't. There's scissors right here. Yay! All right. Remember what I said when we were reading the book that to, to kind of pay attention to how the apple, the apple tree was growing and how the apples were growing on it because we were going to be doing an activity to do with that? Well, that is what we're going to do now. In your packet, you have a piece of paper that looks like this. And this has all the parts to the story of how an apple grows on an apple tree. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is use our scissors. Remember when we use our scissors, we always have our thumb up, right? We don't cut like this. We don't cut with two hands. Thumb up in the, in the smaller section and two, th two fingers in the bottom section. And we're going to cut this paper on the little dotted lines. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we want to cut kind of right on those dotted lines and you can use your helper hand to hold the paper up. So I did that one section and now I'm going to do And then what we want to do is we want to glue these down on a piece of paper. Now I have this long paper at school. If you don't have long paper at home, that's fine. What you could do is take a regular piece of paper and cut it in half and then tape it together in a long strip like this. That would work the best. So now I want to look at my pictures and I want to decide which one goes first in the growing of an apple on an apple tree. Now, I remember in the book it talked about the leaves growing, and then after the leaves grew, we got something else. Does anyone remember what came after the leaves in the book? If you said the flower blossom, you are right. So there is our flower blossom. The flower blossom comes before the apple. So I'm going to glue down my picture of my flower blossom onto my piece of paper over to the left side, all right, like that. There's my flower blossom. Let's see, what came next? After 
the flower blossom. Remember the, the petals of the flower blossom fell to the ground. It was kind of like fall, except for it was petals instead of leaves. And then something small grew on there. And that small thing were the beginnings of apples. So they were little apple buds. So we're gonna glue down the little tiny apple buds first. After the flower. So we have the flower, we have the little apple buds. And so then the apples are going to get bigger. Remember in the book they got bigger and bigger and bigger. So here's our next one. flower, the beginnings of the apple, the apple is starting to get bigger. And it's getting even bigger. Our apples are finally as big as they're going to get. So then that means we can pick them and we can eat them or make them into apple pies or apple crisp or anything you would like to make with apples. So there is a boy. He's got a basket filled to the brim, remember? That means the top is an apple, and he's also eating an apple. Now I'm gonna also make sure to write my name on here, Miss Mika, and then I am all done with my apple story. So I have one more thing to show to you today. In your take-home packet, you found a little packet of paper strips with lines on them. Now, if you've been at the preschool before, you know exactly what these are for, but we have some new friends, so I'm going to show everyone again how we do this work. This is our cutting work. So you're going to take one strip at a time, whatever color you would like, and your pair of scissors, and you're gonna, again, remember that the thumb goes up in the top part, the two fingers in the bottom, then you're going to hold your paper strip with your helper hand and you're going to cut right on these lines, these black lines. And you'll see as I cut across, the little pieces fall down. So you're going to keep moving your helper hand back on the paper so that it doesn't get cut. Then I have a bunch of little pieces of paper. Now you could use these for art, arts and crafts at home if you want. At school, what we usually do is we put them in an envelope and then you can take them home, but you don't need to put them in an envelope right now because you already are home. So you can use these for whatever you would like after you're done, all right? And I also included in your packet, so there are, I think you each have four strips that are already cut. But I also included the template for these, so your mom and dad can make more copies of this if they would like. All right, and I'll be sending home different cutting strips now and then for you to do, okay? All right, so that is what I have for you today. I am going to see some of you in just a little bit at small group time, and we're going to be talking a little bit more about apples and how they grow on a tree, all right? So I will see some of you then. And I will see all of you again. Well, you'll see me again on Wednesday for circle time. So I hope you have a great day. Bye.